Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. I figured I'd do this get ready with me with my modern renaissance palette. <laughs> I said it without screwing it up. <laughs> Those two words together goof me every time. Uh, but uh, I figured somebody else would comment on here when I said I gotten it and I'd actually had a couple people who I know in my daily life who have asked me to do it. So I'm going to do one of my looks I've been doing with the modern renaissance. Um, I'm going to start with the color Tempra. I wish this was in a like a double pan because I'm going to go through this quite a bit. Um, I've been using it to kind of set the whole eye, which is normally not my thing. I usually just go in directly with color and go for it. Um, I have uh, one, this color, this pan, palette is so pigmented that I'm having, when I put the color down, i got to make sure I have it in exactly the right spot. Or I could have issues and I'm not planning the look today I'm just gonna go with the flow um, plus uh, I'm using a different eyeshadow primer than I've been using I ran out of my Urban Decays um, I'm not using Sen it I tried it and it makes everything look like glitter that I put on it and not a big fan of that some people love it so I just got rid of that when I tossed it instead of put because I couldn't put it in my empties but uh I'm using the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer and I find I need to set it or it creases. So that's what I've been using the temper for, for setting that. So I'm going to go through this color quicker than I like to make. The next color I'm going to go in, and by the way, I'm using my Equal Tools double sided brush, the fluffy plus shader in. I'm going to use the fluffy brush again, which is what I just used. I'm going into Golden Orchard, which has probably been my most favorite color. It's actually got Nice little dip going right now already. <laughs> I'm going to use this. So I'm going to actually go right underneath the, the uh, eyebrow. I want to say high bone. <laughs> the uh, eyebrow. Bring it down a little bit on the inside eye to the inside corner. I've already done my uh, under eye concealer and... I don't have foundation on, but I used the concealer to touch up a few spots. I had a bit of an allergic reaction, so I have some serious discoloration going on right now. So Normally, I don't do a lot of foundation. Well, I, like I said, I don't even have any foundation. I give my It's CC um, Illuminating Foundation to my sister, Sarah. I'm hoping she's liking it. She hasn't told me, and I haven't asked, but I gave it to her. Um, I used it a couple times, but it was just didn't blend well on my skin. And the illumination to me wasn't something I really wanted, I decided. So I decided to go ahead and just give it to her. I figured down the road I will get um, the regular one. And I gotta get a better color match. It just, finding the color for everybody is an issue. And I have a lot of pink undertones, but I'm really pale. It's, it's crazy that way. Um, I have an under eye concealer. I use the pink color corrector. I can almost use that straight underneath my eye and it matches my skin when I blend it out. I'm white. <laughs> I'm so white. Alright, I use Golden Orchard again top and just down into the inner here. Now I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna. And we're going to go over the lid. Kind of blend that in, mostly on the ends, the the inside lid and the corner. And I like the, using the fluffy brush with this uh, palette because of um, how intensely pigmented they are. And this puts it on lightly. You could go in heavier and blend it out. You just spend more time blending. I just rather spend the time building it up slowly. So yeah, I'm hitting the center of the eye and going to the inside edge a little bit just to blend that color in. I'm going to take the raw sienna and go underneath where I put the orchard, just underneath. So I'm not going down into the crease, and I'm not right above it, I'm a little higher, um, up by close to the eyebrow. Um, if you don't naturally have deeply recessed eyes like I do, or hooded eyes, you could put it right above the crease, and if you have no crease then you need to go... I missed somebody as I was talking to her. She had no crease. Her f eyelid was pretty much flat. She had a little bit, but nothing major. Um, she and I talked, and what I said is you go 
open your eye and you go between here and here halfway should be your crease or just a little below you want to take this right above where that halfway mark is and then you'll create that halfway mark is where you want to create that crease so it, it's just you know learning how technique takes time yeah it is what it is though sorry I'm focusing on what I'm doing I was doing my makeup the other day and I wasn't paying attention and I stabbed myself in the eye with my makeup brush <laughs> it was funny I was like really okay slow down pay attention what's going in front of you I keep wanting to go into burnt orange and I'm supposed to be using raw sienna um yeah fluffing this in so this color you won't see too much of once we go over it with other colors it's just more of a filler color though you could taking this down here take it down a little deeper take cypress amber just in the corner and make a beautiful just simple light look everyday casual look but I ain't about that casual look I'm a you know <laughs> let's do the eyes kind of person okay let's bring this in a little bit more on the inside crease now I'm actually going in my crease with that raw umber and dragging it down closer to the eye I like to create some of that definition I'm dragging it through kind of fluffing it into there see how that creates more recesses that pouch of mine up so yeah it's been a crazy week with uh well most of my weeks are busy I shouldn't say crazy they've just been busy with work and my personal business has been picking up I've been busy with appointments and then uh been dealing with landlords and I rent right now I I've owned a couple homes in my time but right now renting is easier for me a home is great but it's a lot of work <laughs> okay we're gonna jump over to the color primavera and I'm gonna take it with the shader side on that same brush and I'm gonna pack it in the inside quarter now I know a lot of people are like well normally you do that last or one of the last steps we might touch this up, but I want to bring it in and see how far I want to bring it in. Yeah, like that. This crease in the, I find it to be a more subtle <laughs> highlight in the inside corner, which is funny because it's so glittery. But some of my uh, real metallics from Stila, Woo. after them, some of these have seemed subtle when they're really not. You could foil this for a really shiny look but I don't quite want that much sorry about the banging noise they're working on the building behind me again they stopped so I thought I was good for recording obviously not hopefully there won't be too much more um but yeah so here I put the primavera on the inside then we're gonna go in with real gear and we're gonna start with the outside corner I'm just small fluffing motions and we're going to bring that up to right above my crease because remember this is how I do my eyes if you don't have such hooded eyes put it in your crease and I'm going to fluff it out this is very pigmented color so do be careful it's easier to add it's harder to take away but yeah I'm just using it to fluff in ever so gently Sorry, I didn't want to have to redo this again later at night. And I want to wear this out, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Starting in the corner. And going from there. Yeah, i got to get my nephew here in a little bit. My sister called when I, right before I started to do this recording. And she says, hey, can you pick him up at 2.40? Yeah, I can do that. Not a problem. So... She's gonna have to figure out what the uh for picking up the kids is gonna be the person who used to pick them up all the time moved their other grandma from their father's side moved to uh another state to be near her other grandchild who just was born this last year so can't blame her 
just using the fussy side to blend it into the raw the raw sienna and you have to come back with the raw sienna along the edges to blend it in more like i said these colors they blend they build beautifully just very pigmented so don't put too much down you're going to run into problems if you put too much down where you've got a mess and you're trying to clean it up i do have some fallout i'll have to clean that up it's not horribly bad though could be way worse okay i'm going to take the real gear with my mau 311 shader detailer and we're going to hit the outside corner underneath don't poke myself in the eye this is the brush i poked myself in the eye with the other day there we go now i'm going to come in on the side now we're going to knock off the color in my color switch and we're going to take the raw sienna and we're going to start in the middle of the eye and blend that into the real gear you think it's funny how we make these faces when we're doing it we're like oh this is Tommy fucking me in the eye yeah right it's gonna happen it's gonna happen right I don't know why we do it, we just do. Um, I could take Primavera, and if I had smoother skin I would do this, I would take Prim Primavera all the way down to here. But I have these lines that I've had since I was 13, so that's not going to work. What I am going to do is take the Primavera, and I'm just going to hit the inside edge here, hitting the, around the corner, and back on top. Because if I take it down here, I'm going to hit these lines and emphasize them. And I don't want to do that. So again, just the edge. And bringing it up. So I'm just taking the Primavera and I'm touching up the inside corner. Like I said, I might, might have had to. Because with all the blending, I could easily knock that color down if I wasn't careful. Then we're gonna knock off the make the makeup off the 311. I'm gonna go in with real gear again with the same brush, and I'm gonna intensify that cor outside corner just a little bit, and I'm gonna kind of drag it down to the middle. I want this color to be there. I just don't want it to be so mild that you don't see it. I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Down a bit of an angle just to create more depth. Knocking off the same brush and going in with raw sienna. Now this is the one where you gotta be kind of blended in the middle between the two, and how you apply it is gonna make the world of difference on how it looks. You could skip this and just take that burnt sienna right over, but I like how it kind of blends it a little bit. So then I'm going to take this and just blend the edges where those two meet. Then I'm going to take a touch of real gear and blend the edge, the other edge. I didn't use any uh, color when I blended this edge, but I am going to use it for the other edge just because I want this color to be so primary in this look. Ooh. Okay, I think we got it. Like I said, this one blends beautifully. Um, I've not had near the problems with some of the other stuff I've had with the other ones. Um, the only thing I sometimes have to do is I have to watch the corners because since with this one I tend to do the foundation first. Sometimes I have to come back and clean up an edge. And flick up. I'm just taking... Uh, real gear kind of creating a bit of a line I'm flicking up and then what I'll do is I'll take the fluffy and mind you you've knocked all the color off you need to have all the color or even grab a clean one 
and kind of blend that edge so it's not so harsh. Kind of fluff it out, fluff my look on out. Yeah, I like how that looks. I think the eyes are done. Oh, I got some fallout I got to take care of here right quick. Um, I'm going to pause you guys, finish my eyeliner, um, blush, and the rest of my face, and I'll be right back with you, all right? And we're back with the finished product. Um, I'm really liking this look. I think it looks really cool on. I do have my eyeliner in dark brown on from MAU. I told you I was going to try to continue it. I just can't use it every day because my eyes water. Um, cleaned up my eyebrows, but they weren't that bad today. Lip with lipstick is uh, Jeffree Star Pumpkin Pie um, blush on. It's from my California Dreams palette that I'd hold. It's the Golden Hour with the lightest shade on top. I can't remember the name of it. I put it away already. Um, mascara, which I have my Tarthiest, covering it with the Super Sizer on. Um, loving the combination. It gives me a lot of fullness. And then this is more details of what the eye looks like. But I'm um, happy with the look overall. I think it looks really nice. Um, you all have a very nice day. Take care. I've got some running around you. I gotta go get my nephew from school. Take care. Alright? Bye. And deuces.